Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. And today we're going to be doing the walkthrough on my Graphic 45 Fairy Dust Explosion Box Mini Album. And as you can see, this is the top. And unfortunately, in my last video, I must have bumped my laptop. For some reason, it stopped taping and it ended when I was fixing a mistake I made on this part of the panel right here. Um, so none of the decorating on the top is taped. I apologize for that. Um, I did not realize it until I went to watch it and I thought, boy, that's pretty short. And uh, unfortunately, I had bumped my laptop at one point and it didn't tape it, but you can see We'll walk through and you'll be able to see the different flowers and stuff that I used and I'll describe how I created them. So for this, um, this is a pretty um, <laughs> elaborate little explosion box. So I'm going to tip it so you can see what I ended up doing. So we have an opening here so you can see inside and I'm just going to rotate so you can see each side individually try to hold the top on here and I did weigh it because it was getting very heavy and it does weigh three pounds so and you can see the flowers and I did try to coordinate each side with its thing here so it looked nice. You can see there. All right, and then we're back to the front again. All right. And on the top here, as you can see, we've got the flowers, but I also took some of the chipboard pieces and then I had some charms that I used. And these brads are um, from the Islet Outlet, and they are a ribbon brad, actually, and I've had them for a long time. And I stuck additional little tags in here and a piece of chipboard. These are from the sticker sheet, and then I just um, made, uh, put black card stuck underneath. And here's another little piece of chipboard with a different little fairy dangling. From it, there you go. All right, so the flowers were made with my. These were made with my Cricut. These, these, and these were made with my Cricut. And then these other ones were made from some dyes I got from AliExpress um, yesterday, and actually decided to use them with the some of my scrap pieces of decorative paper. So, and this little side here we have a, a latch which is a hinge and that allows me to open this up and have a light inside there so I do have some fairy lights but my fortunately they did not come with batteries so I just got a different light in there for right now but that allows me to keep this so I can open and close it I did add some additional ties on the side um, the explosion box will stay closed without it, but I thought because of the weight and stuff that I maybe should have something additional, but it does not need it. Um, you can get it. It'll stay closed without it. <clears throat> so. And I should have these untied, huh? So the... Flower decorating, um, I just kept putting the different flowers on here and there until it got what I what I liked. And like I said, I had glued, accidentally glued this piece here down and was not would not be able to open my flap there. I was so I did have to remove that, and that part is in the video where I remove it. And then it stops where I am adding a new piece of this. On there because this other piece got this other piece got damaged when I was pulling this up so and then I just left that unglued when I glued it back down 
I just glued this piece down and not the whole thing. All right. Let's just go ahead and turn it to the front here, and then I'm just going to drop this box. And then I'll show you the underneath here. There is uh, that paper there. And then I used the, a lid I had to create this shape and also the shape here. Um, I used the same lid. And I just drew around it and then cut. Um, and like I said, I do have fairy lights that I am going to put in there. But for right now for light, I wanted that. And it looks really nice at nighttime. And I just used a piece of burlap to uh, decorate the edge a little bit. Nice natural look. And as you can see, the whole lid there. Good look at all that. All right. Let's make it hard to sit down when it's tilted like that. So I'm just going to lay it on its top. All right. So in this, <clears throat> we have three panels that have the albums in it. This first one has a little, uh, little flip here that goes over top of there and holds it shut. There's a magnet in there, so it wants to. And then here we have a pocket. I just put a couple of the tags in that come in the tag pack. Let me slide this back in there. And then this is magnetized and it lifts up. I'm going to tip it so you can see. And then I've got one of the main pages there. And I do have... I was going to put a tag in there. So I have to add a tag to that. Yeah, but that does have a, a spot for a tag. You can slide a good size tag in there. And I'm going to turn it this way so that it's facing right for both of us. Here we go. Alright, so here we have one of the tags... And I just added some a, a one inch strip that I've scored in half. And then this closes back up. We have one of my fairies here that you can slide um, picture underneath. So that gives you a full page there yet. And you can just, let me grab something here. You can just slide your picture right underneath there easily. And then this opens up and on this side you have an additional one just like that. And also she is left open, so you can slide something under there. And then this panel also opens. And then we have an additional opening here and here on this side. And then a pocket on each side. And each one of these has some of the two tags from the tags packet. And then these are left up here and here. And the center one is also a pocket. Then we just got a little booklet tag there that can slide in. And then I just used one of the tags from the tag packet to put on there. So then this closes back up like that. And that's magnetized. Now let's spin it. And each one faces the direction toward the person. Let me see here if I can get this up here. I want to get this closer here. Sorry if I'm jiggling you. There we go. This piece here I have added a buckle to. This is a Tim Holtz buckle. And then this is just a piece of Hobby Lobby. Um, it's their, it's vinyl, like their fake leather trim. And it's in the peach color. And I used one of these panels from the, to decorate this with. And then this... I'm going to bring this up here so you can see it. This piece here. And then you can just do that. She is open. So you can get your picture right under there. So you have to have a full 8x8. Eight eight, or no, not 8x8. Eight eight. It's this one here. These are let's see, maybe 6x6. Six 7x7, six. Seven seven, I think. So plenty big. This here is a waterfall. And I've left the backs black. I did not decorate the backs. So we've got the waterfall there. 
just like that. And this is an additional pocket. And then I just put one of the tags from the tag thing there. And then each one of these has a tag of its own. So, and I didn't do anything to the back of this, but you could, you got scraps, you could do the same thing to the back of that. And I just used my um, uh, punch to just do the corner punch on there. So each one of these has a different piece of scrap that I used to just decorate just the edge. And you can get a full 4x6 on here. And unfortunately, what did I do with my phone? There it is. So you can get a full 4x6 picture on there without cutting it down. And it fits on there nicely. So this alone... Better. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's six, so 12, so 24 photos right here, just with these. And then you can get, you could trim down a picture here. So 24 photos just with this waterfall here. And we'll just buckle that back up. And you could, if you did not want to do a window, you could fit another hole, um, another panel with the ability to do more uh, layouts in. This is our last one, and this is a piece of the chipboard collection that I've just attached here. And this swings out, and then this swings out, and I did use just the tags from the tag packet. And then this is a full sheet here. And I just put a ribbon closure there. And then I'll tip this so you can see it a second here. This is just another full page. And then I've used one of the chipboard elements with a brad. And then that swivels just for a decorative element. Now for here, there's a band. And you slide the band all the way to the side. And that opens up this panel here. You can slide this band right off of here, just like that. So we have this opening here, which a photo will fit right in. Can you turn that down? And then also this one, she's open so you can fit a photo down in there. Now you probably will have to cut it because I do have it attached there, but you can always just cut a smaller one too here. So this also opens. And in the center here we have a a pocket for some tags and I do have extra tags left from my tags packet here so we could just slide a couple of those in there we have got uh, wish and fairy dust so you can slide a couple in there in addition to that this has a little sticker from the sticker sheet I've had it on black cardstock you have room for a photo here and I just did believe in magic along the bottom there that, sorry. Um, and then this lifts up and then you have two flips here the smaller tags from the tags and pockets and then this little embellishment here down the bottom from the sticker sheet is left open so you can slide something underneath there and then you also got room for additional photo here and this will also hold a tag you can put a tag in there. You can use those for journaling or whatever you want. And that is, and these open, I don't know if you can see it. So these open three panels on each side, like that. And there's a little left. It's uh, where you can, it's a little one of the little stickers, and you can fit a picture underneath there. And then this is a pocket. And I have a tag in there. All right. And then this one's the same. It's got the little sticker here. And it's just lifted up. It's been put on black cardstock. And then there's another pocket here. With a tag in there. And these will hold a 4x6 photo on the panels. And then this one will also hold a 4 by 6 but you'll have to cut it down just a little bit. But most pictures like this one, you, can, you have a lot of options of trimming that off. 
Right. So let's go ahead and slide our band back on there like that. We get it there, and then we can just slide it back over top of both of these, and that holds those closed. And we'll give this a tie here. It's a ribbon tie. Looks like so. And that's magnetic. All right. So in the display here, I have created, it all started with this bench here. And uh, you see the bench? It's a little metal bench. And then I've created a little wire. I bent the wire and made it. And then there's a swing here that I made. And these are all in the video. It tells us how to do it. I got a fountain, a little frog, some little um, wood path, things, some mushrooms I made out of pieces of sticks from my yard, and some caps from acorns, and a little topiary rose tree here. So. And then I just added additional little fairies on this side here just to decorate that panel because there's not enough room for, for much else. But uh, we could put a sticker there or something too. So that is it for my explosion box. And I hope you like it. Let's make sure I got this going the right direction here. All right. And it will go on anywhere, any way, any direction, because it is 8x8, eight eight, but I do have it so that they, with the panels that they um, line up. There we go. Perfect. And that is that. We'll just sit like that while I finish up here. So I hope you like my videos and I hope you want to follow along with the us making this and go ahead and give it a try it's uh, it was it was fun it really was and I love the fairy dust uh, paper collection graphic 45 beautiful papers all the way around and uh, I had fun doing it and I hope you have fun watching it and I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow along if you do subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video these, I believe, are going to be uploaded on Saturdays. So every Saturday, there is a total of eight videos. Uh, this one here would be number nine. So it's it's going to go a few weeks, and maybe some weeks I'll add an additional one so it doesn't take so many weeks to get through it. Maybe I'll do it in four weeks, but for sure on Saturdays, these will be uploaded. And thumbs up are always appreciated. And again, I hope you enjoy the video and, um, and enjoy Graphic 45's paper collection. And until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.